All right. Yes, fantastic. Now, now we've spoken about the major scale about, and the minor scale. You can all see my screen. You can see the slide. Yes. Yes, you can see my screen. You can see the slide. Yes. Ever? Can you see my screen? Type one or yes, if you can see my screen. All right, good, fantastic. Now this is the C major scale. Uh, we've spoken about this already. And like we said, it's one of the fundamental scales, you know, for the major scale is like the, the base, you know, for everything in music. So we have the C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. C to C, that's the C major scale. Now, when you stack each of the, the thirds, now you know that chords are basically formed from thirds, you know? That means one, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is also octave. So this is one, you jump two, three. So when you stack one, three, five, seven, you get this one. So that will be C, you leave D to E, you leave F to G, you leave um, A to B. That is like stacking the chords. The chord that that gives you is a C major seventh. Because you have So when you stack it, that gives you a C major seventh. That means every time you see a C major seven chord, you can simply play the major scale or the Ionian. That is the first mode of the major chord. Got that? Now, when you stack the two, also the third of it. So two, four, six, and then eight, which eight is also the same thing as one. You get the da 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 da. You get. You get the two. But now this two, you can, you can even hear the color of the chord already. That it's it sounds sour. It sounds sad. But like the one, this one is sweet and happy. This is sour. It's sour. That's the minor chord. We spoke about chord formation and chord construction the other time. We spoke about for it to be a minor chord, there's the one, there's the flat third, a minor third, which from, from D to F is a minor interval because it's one and a half steps, right? And then you have your fifth. No, basically chord is the first, the third, the fifth, and the seventh. So the first is your D, the third is your F, which is a minor second, which is a minor third. So that makes the chord a minor because the third is a minor. And then you have the fifth, you know, and then, then, then you have the seventh. And the seventh is also a minor seventh interval. So that makes the chord a minor seventh. You get it? If you get it, say, I get it. Right? I get it. If you got it. It makes it a minor seven. I need your participation, guys. It makes it a minor seventh chord. All right. I've just increased my own volume, but I don't want to have distortion in the recording because that would defeat everything. Uh, all right, that gives you a minor seven. So the two, and how's the volume now? Oh, makes the minor seventh. Now, the third one is your E. And when you start the third of the E, you can hear that's also like a, also a minor chord you know 
So the C is also a minor chord. All right? The E is also a minor. So anytime you see a minor, another choice is also the E minor seventh. But now I'm going to tell you guys straight now. In all the, all, the, all the chords that are formed from the major scale, you only use this E. Please listen very, very carefully. This E, you don't use it in major situations. This E minus seven, this E, the, the, the Phrygian, because that means when you see E minus seven, you could also play the Phrygian because this, if, if, the, if stacking the thoughts of the, of the Dorian gives us D minus seven, that means anytime you see a minus seven, you can actually, actually play that chord, Dorian. That's what it means. But for Phrygian, it's a little bit tricky. You only use the Phrygian when you are actually playing in a minor situation, when the song is a minor. When the song is a major, this, you don't, you don't play the, the Phrygian. It's mostly played in minor, except you want to intentionally create a very strong tension. I'm going to give you an example now. Um, okay, I'll, I'll come back and then I'll give you the example. Let me just continue. Then the F, when you stack the third of the F also. You can hear that. That also gives us a major seventh. It gives us a major seventh. That means when you see a major seventh, you can also play your Lydian. And it has a beautiful color as well. It has that fi sound in it. Now when you see, when you stack the third of the fifth mode, because we're stacking the third of the fifth mode, that will, that will be G, B, then D, and then F. Because, you know, when you get here, you actually, you come back here. So that will be... Like a major, and that's a fifth, which is a fifth normal. So that sounds like a major third, which sounds like a major triad. But by the time you put the seventh on it, the seventh is a minor seventh. And when you have a minor seventh at the end, that makes it a dominant seventh, or simply call it a seventh. Okay, so the seventh is also called a dominant seventh. Okay, so these. G7 is actually also a G dominant 7. So anytime you see a dominant 7 chord, it means you can play your mixolydian. Anytime you see your G, a 7th, anytime you see a 7th chord, that is also a dominant 7, means you can play your mixolydian. Because when the chord that is formed from the mixolydian mode gives us a 7th. Okay, gives us a seventh. Gives us it's like going from yo, what will I say? Going from 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 Ojuelegba to 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 stadium, you know. And you know, between stadium and Ojuelegba, there are some bus stops. There's that bus stop. Before you, so anytime you see any bus at Oju Elegba that is going to stadium, if you are going to any of those streets, any of those bus stops, in between, you can take Oju Elegba. You can always take uh, Oju Elegba. Anytime you are going from Oju Elegba to stadium, once you are at Oju Elegba, and if someone, a car is calling, a bus is calling stadium, 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 you can take that stadium. From Oju Elegba, it will always pass through all those bus stops. That's how somehow the, I can kind of explain the relationship between the chords and the scales. Or if you are going to Europe, once you get a Schengen visa, 
once you have a Schengen, you can take any of the of the of, of any plane going. Because once you get to Europe, please mute your microphones, please. So anytime you see it, you can take any of those things and it will always, you will not miss where you're supposed to go. Because once you get that Schengen visa, it gives you entrance to all those places. That's like how it, how, how it works. So 